What's up guys, TechOutFa6 and in today's video I'm going to be talking about WWDC. So let's get into the video. The first thing that's new about iOS 7 is their uh, totally different home screen look to it. We do see a bunch of pictures during this video of that. There's also new gestures where you can swipe from the edge to go to new windows or messages. Ma the mail app is very clean looking. There's full, sc full screen edge to edge photos now on the gallery or camera app. The notification center looks awesome, which I have pictures of. Um, there's stock app, there's calendar app, notifications are on the lock screen now. There's a control center, and there's and which which is when you swipe up on your phone, you get airplane mode, music, and flashlight settings. Multitasking, also. There's a new battery icon, and a lot of other icons like the Wi-Fi icon, and also the um. The connection wi icon. iOS 7 also knows what apps you use more most often or what time you use them during the day. Updates also work in the background like Android. Safari updates has a new updated icon. There's full screen mode on Safari. Smart search field and no longer limited to eight web pages on Safari and is very smooth. Also, there's AirDrop and Share Sheets, sheets, or you can share it with multiple people at once. There's four cameras in one, and live photo filters. You can add filters, and Siri has new a new a whole new interface. There's a new voice you can choose from male or female. It is smarter, and you can turn. You can say things like turn on Bluetooth, increase brightness, and answer a, a ton more of questions. Next is there's iTunes Radio, which I'll have an image of also during this video. And there's also iOS 7 will be available for the iPhone 4 and, and later, and all iPad 2 and later, and will be coming this fall. I'm guessing also will be available for the Apple Touches, but there was no word on that. I'm going to be talking about three things that were announced today at WWDC 2013. The first thing is OS X Mavericks. The second thing is the MacBook Air, and the third thing is the Mac Pro. Refresh. So the first thing new about the OS X Maverick is Finder tabs, which is basically tabs and the Finder Finder multiple display, which merges all your windows. Tags, which makes it a lot easier to search for items. Full screen mode for apps. The, the ability to move your dock. Compressed memory, which allows space to move more frequently and more quickly. App nap, which is when apps are not being in use, they use a blessed battery. Super responsive graphics. And time colossal, colossal, colossaling or something like that. Next, we're talking about Safari. Safari uses less en energy, very responsive, super fast, and smooth scrolling. New robust bookmarks, which look sort of like iTunes. Reading list was at your re regularly revisited sites. And that's all that's new with Safari on OS X Mavericks. Next. What's new about iCloud is remembers passwords and your credit cards. Notification center can reply inside of the notification center um, using email, FaceTime, messages, stuff like that. Next, iBooks is now on Mac supports textbooks. Calendars, when typing lunch, brings up locations nearby. You can also decide to walk or drive to destination on your calendar. Next, iBooks adjusts the type size, night mode. I mean, the new features for iBooks are adjust, adjusting the type size, night mode, and you can also track. The, the, you need a trackpad to take full advantage of iBooks. Next, we're going to be talking about the MacBook Air. The new features of the MacBook Air provide all day battery, fourth generation core Hoswell ULT processors. The 11-inch has nine to n the five to nine batter um, hours of battery, 
And 13 inch has 7 to 12 hours of battery, which is not actually all day, but they say it's all day. They lied. Next thing that the MacBook Air provides is a 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and a new air in the new airship today. So there's not much new about them in the MacBook Airs, but there is. It's definitely not worth the update, so I wouldn't upgrade to the new MacBook Air. But I would update to the new Mac Pro. So next we'll be talking about the Mac Pro. The Mac, Pro, the Mac Pro has identified thermal cores, Intel Exxon chip, a 256-bit wide floating point, a PCI Express Gen 3, an ECC memory, a PCLE flash, which is two times faster than the flash that they had on the previous Mac Pros, has Thunderbolt 2, which is a backwards compatible with Thunderbolt and Firewire has dual workstations which is the first Mac to have that two times faster GPU with dual workstation GPU supports 4k displays and there is also a new Final Cut coming to Mac soon next it is one eighth the volume of the previous Mac Pro has four USB 3.0s, six Thunderbolts 2s, HDMI out, and all the back ports light up, which is also pretty cool. So that's all that's new with um, the Mac Pro, MacBook Air, and OS X Maverick. I hope you like this video. Make sure to share this video. Share on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Click the link in the description for all my Facebook fan page, my my Twitter, my Instagram, my Vine, my website, and all cool stuff like that. My other YouTube channels, my partner's YouTube channels, and stuff like that. Make sure you leave a comment on what you think about the new MacBook Air, or the new Mac Pro, or Mac OS X Maverick, how you think about the name, or anything. If you're updating to the Mac Pro, or the new MacBook Air, which I don't think you should ever to the MacBook Air, or anything like that, comment down below, any questions. Uh, of any sort, any ideas, anything you want to see, anything like that, comment down below. Thanks for watching this video. Once again, Tech Coffee 6 out.